you know, real NFL reps. What did it mean for you to be able to connect with Cody in the corner of that end zone for that two-point conversion? Oh, that was awesome. You know, Cody works really, really hard, and, you know, I saw that linebacker's back turn, and I knew I could give him a chance, um, and he went up and made a great catch. And the fans, I mean, they really seem to be behind you. They might have been the biggest applause of the night. I mean, what did that mean to have that kind of support? Oh, that's awesome um, to have the uh, support from the fans. Um, it's it's amazing because you know you know that they have your back. Um, so you know, hopefully, I can just you know keep improving and you know give them what they want to see. Kyle, you didn't get rewarded for it, but you had some really good throws downfield. Those guys just didn't come up with plays. Is that you know you feel good about where you put the ball and, and the decision you made there? Um. Yeah, I mean, those are those are plays that you know I've seen those guys make in practice, and you know, I just didn't, um, you know, little things here and there didn't go our way. Um, but you know, we'll we'll get it coached up and hopefully hit it next time. Did the speed of an NFL game did it surprise you? Is it what you expected? I would say our practice prepared me for that. Um, it wasn't um, anything that caught me off guard once I got out there. You know. Um, you know, we, we like to practice at a, you know, a good pace, so we're um, very prepared for these situations. So I didn't feel like I was ever caught off guard at any moment. Blaine was just telling us that a youth football coach told him that if you don't get the butterflies before you play, even for him now, you don't care enough. Did you feel those butterflies maybe a little more when you were going out there at first? <laughs> um, or? Yeah, I mean, I was, yeah, I wouldn't say I was like nervous, but I would definitely say I had the butterflies. I usually get them before um, every game. It's kind of just like that, that energy, you know, you're ready to get out there um, and show what you've been working on all week. And I was just very excited um, and happy to get out there. Did Tom give you any uh, advice? Did you talk to him at all before this one or when you were going out there, Tom? Um, really, all the quarterbacks have just been in my corner and helping me with everything that you know I have a question for because um, you know they all have a ton of NFL experience I mean, every single one of them we have so much experience in our quarterback room um, and you know they're uh, you know, very helpful with anything that you know I have a question about how difficult is it to go into a game with absolutely no film on the opponent um it was a uh, it was a little tough you know we we found some old clips of, you know, their, their uh, scheme. And we kind of had a little bit, uh, a little bit of knowledge about their defense going in. But, you know, really we're just, you know, trying to go out there and, you know, everybody's just out there trying to make their reps count because um, we've got a lot of guys playing. And you know, I think we had good effort out there. Um, just, you know, some things just didn't roll our way tonight. Without looking at the film or anything, what are some like knee-jerk reactions that, okay, maybe I could have done this better, maybe I can improve in this area? Anything that you're automatically thinking of? Um, you know, no, nothing, um, nothing uh, off the top of my head right now. Uh, I don't want to, you know, make any assumptions when I haven't looked at the film yet. So that's something that you know I'll get with the coaches and go over the film and you know get everything cleaned up if I need to. So what? Is was it more than you thought? Was it pretty much what you thought? Like, did you feel like, you know what, man? Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, it was just, it's crazy, honestly, just to be out there for my very first NFL game. Um, it's very surreal, but, you know, once you get out there between the lines, it's just football. Um, and we've done a great job of preparing during practice and you know, getting used to that game speed. So not, like I said before, like, nothing caught me off guard. I felt very prepared. Um, but overall, I just I had a lot of fun. You didn't start your career with a stop route. You're throwing it 65 down the field. <laughs> Was that the plan? Uh, not necessarily, but you know, I got no problem launching it if they give it to us. Um, you know, we kind of got they did a good job covering us up on our you know, first few guys in our progression. And I saw Travis, um, he got past their, their back safety. And you know, I just tried to air one out and give him a shot. Did any of the other quarterbacks just give you some immediate feedback uh, when you came off the field? Um, yeah, they were just telling me to you know, stay with it. You know, some things, like I said before, weren't going our way. But just told me to stay with it. And I was doing a good job. And you know, 
like I said, we're just going to go back and watch the film and get everything cleaned up that we need to. What do you feel is your biggest point of improvement since Jenny Campetti into tonight's game? Ah, man, I would just say you know, getting the plays down. You know, as a young guy coming into this offense, there's a lot that can be thrown at you. Um, and just getting more comfortable with the plays, um, with the more, you know, taking advantage of every rep that I get and just trying to improve every opportunity that I can. Um, you know, that's really what it's all about at this um, stage of my career right now. You had a pretty good core of receivers in Florida. You step into another really great core of receivers here. How much did that prepare you at Florida for this? Oh, man, I don't know if, you know, every receiver kind of has their own kind of style. Um, and I was fortunate enough to play with a ton of great talent at Florida. And, you know, here there's uh, also – a bunch more great talent, but they're kind of different in their style. Um, they do a great job, and you know, it's, the whole team is super talented, a lot of experience, and it's just a great building to be in. Anything else? Thanks, Scott. Appreciate it. Thanks, Kyle.